Okay, um, Candy, this is Ray Woods. This is that uh, burger, Garbo. Uh, it's got, uh, this is the salon area. But you notice it's got a nice teak floor. It's all covered up because you're not using it. But I just wanted to show you what this kind of looks like. Got this nice teak floor, a leather couch. You know, may not be your preference, but it, it's nice. It's airy. Got plenty of windows. It's all covered up right now. Television here. This is the very apt end of the boat. I'm going to kind of come around here and give you a shot out the back looking down into the cockpit. Okay, I'm walking from the uh, back of the salon into the uh, wheelhouse and you can kind of see how nice everything is here. Got some, uh, got one piece of modern electronics in here. Actually got a couple pieces of modern electronics here up on the top. And this is like a raised pilot house, not really a raised pilot house, it's on the main deck area. And there's your steering wheel. And as I look around to the port side, then you see the seating for this area. The captain stands up to get going, then he uses the autopilot pretty much or sticks a chair behind it. And then from here we go down uh, one, two, three stairs it looks like. Into the salon. What I want you to notice here, as support side over here, and as we look forward here, you see the pass through to the galley. And then that's the walk around to go around the side of the galley there. So there's your pass through on the left on the port side. And then there's a walk around for that. I'm sorry about the, co the color here. My finger keeps getting in the way, I think. Okay, I'll walk down the steps. And I'm walking up the starboard side here. So you can kind of see what this looks like. I know it's getting dark, and my, that's because the brightness in here is kind of dim. These are always windows closed. And here's the galley, and you can see this got a full-size refrigerator freezer here. It's about four feet wide, roughly, and uh, got the sink on the window side here, the port side. And here's the pass-through that looks back up into the salon. Now, I know it may, it may not be your particular kind of furniture, but uh, that's the easiest thing to replace because that's the smallest color in here. Everything else is nice wood finish. Two-hole sink. Then you got your uh, four-burner stove top with a microwave oven and then a uh, full-size built-in oven here. So this is a, actually a pretty nice galley. Like I say, again, with your pass-through. And your double okay, now we're walking from the galley down forward to the cruise quarters. This is their little dinette settee. Here's a washing machine right here. And then forward are the bunks, which is hard, kind of hard to see because of the light here. And they're Okay, hip. going from the cruise quarters, this is the settee to my right. You go in here and you got the uh, dryer, it looks like, to the left. It's uh, kind of a duck down type of situation. You got nice storage, clean. And you go into the engine room. So keep going back. Engine room like it's very well maintained. Machinery looks really good condition. Generators look in good condition. According to the hour meters, there's only like 890 something hours on the engines. And see, this is what an engine room really is kind of hard to tell looking at these pictures, but these motors are in, everything's in, painted up and clean and well maintained. And there's a fire extinguishing system right here. As you can see, everything is well maintained. Okay, I'm standing at, on my immediate right is uh, where the galley is, walking back into the salon. That's the steps going up to the uh, uh, pilot house. And here's the steps going down to the uh, 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 main salon, excuse me, main uh, stateroom and uh, guest staterooms. I can find the light switches, it probably would help. There we go. So I'm going to go all the way back to the uh, master stateroom, which is full, full beam. And you can see you've got uh, nice built-in cabinetry on both sides. they got everything open so everything will air out good. Got nice uh, louvered 
doors for hanging closet on both sides. I hope I'm not going too fast here. But again, it's full beam. Looks nice. Clean. Doesn't have any stinky odors to it. I'm spinning around to my right. Okay, I'm looking forward again now, looking back up the stairs. I just came down from the main salon. So it's one, two, three, four, five steps down. Very comfortable in here. And then here's the uh, head, master head. It appears to be in very good condition. And then as we go forward, we have the uh, one of the guest staterooms right here. So I guess it's two stateroom basically with cruise quarters forward. And then here's the uh, guest head. It has been remodeled over the years. It's not original. Got newer toilets in it, sink tops and stuff like that. And here's the steps going back up to the salon. And as you can see, when you come up here, you have the pass-through for the galley right there. I'm not sure if this is exactly what you want, but this is very nice. This boat is very, very well taken care of. Okay, I'm on the outside of the boat looking up. She's in really good condition. Pale yellow hull. Very pretty. No, not much in the way of blisters. I don't see hardly anything. Very well taken care of. Nice flare to the bow, typical burger. She's a little bit older, she's 1970, but she appears to be very well taken care of. And I'm looking back up at her flybridge up here.